Sorry, Stu, I've got to go. It's low tide. I want to go and check me boat. I'll, uh, I'll have to pause you and come back. Oh. Righto. Um, just about to run out of light. I think low tide's at 7.30. We're coming up to 7 o'clock, 1,900 hours. So I just thought I'd duck down. Still pouring with rain out there. So, um, yeah, just duck down and have another look at Tondi uh, with her lines being as slack as they will be on a low tide. Well, I do not know what I was worried about. I mean, the boats are, are dancing around a little bit, but there's hardly any surge getting in here at all. So that tells me that there's still a little bit of a southerly influence on this easterly swell. So, yeah, all good. Come back tomorrow. So there's a bit more surge in the harbour today makes sense because the winds are now from the northeast and they're predicted to stay around 25 to 30 knots for the next three days from the northeast which will tend to push the easterly swell into this harbour and it could gradually get uh, a fair bit worse. The mooring lines are holding, everything's in order, the boats are just sort of dancing around as they do. As long as nothing breaks, which it shouldn't, we'll be right. I've got extra springs on. I just doubled them up. And yeah, she seems to be all right. They're all dancing around. It's just what happens. Uh, it's only sort of when it gets twice as, three times as bad as it is now, it puts a lot of load on your lines and you just gotta hope that no one's break no lines break from any of the boats. Definitely got a nor'east breeze starting to, starting to sort of uh, get in here a little bit. Glad I didn't sleep on it last night. Okay, now things are starting to rock and roll a little bit more. These lines are starting to work and do their job. But uh, yeah, so nor'easters sort of kicking in, boats are dancing around a bit. I'd like to uh, have my boat further away from this rock wall, that's for sure. And I'd also like to be a little bit further away from Jeff, which means shortening up that bow line not touching there I mean they're miles apart still but just be nice to have that bow a bit sort of bow into the swell as it comes in anyway what do you do it's not hitting anything yet I've just finished two yacht races up on Lake Illawarra and come back and I've shortened up the bow line on the starboard side and that's just pulled the boat out that little bit further. Also shortened up this starboard side stern line and I moved the mizzen boom over to the port side so it's right away from any chance of hitting here. Okay, so the weather's clearing now. First day in about a week that we've got blue skies and nor'westers predicted. As you can see, there's still a bit of surge coming into the harbour, but all in all, it's been a really good test of Tondaleo's new berth and uh, all the new mooring lines that we put in. And I'm really happy with it. It just took a little bit of tweaking and adjusting to get the lines just right. And she's ridden it out really well. Uh, yeah, so I'll call that a win and um, 
all I need to do now is splice some eyes in that 32 mil Aquatec and run a bit of Dyneema out just to make it easier to handle and to put around my cleats. Really happy with that and we'll call that a win for the Tondaleo mooring rebuild. But I'm just heading down to the mooring that Sequel's on, the motorboat. That's in Currumbeen Creek. Now all the reports I got while this rain event was going on was that it wasn't so bad down there. They seem to uh, miss the brunt of this weather event and that there weren't any bits of flotsam and jetsam coming down the creek to be an issue. So I'm hoping that's the case. But you never know unless you lay your own eyes on, on your own mooring really. So I'm going to go down, just check the mooring lines and also just see how much rainwater's got into Sequel and make sure the auto bilge pump was working uh, if rain did get in. So this is all very tame compared to uh, a lot of the other river systems around the place. And it's going to be an easy run down to the boat and then a slow run back with the uh, run out of the water. Well, she's actually um, looking great, considering she's bloody lovely. Thank goodness, no um, fouling of any of the mooring lines. As you can see, the water's a bit murky, but that's about it. We've fared very well. And um, yeah, a little bit of rainwater inside and that was it. So I'm not gonna start the engine. There's not really any point because it'd just be sucking in brown murky water through the cooling system which is not really needed i've got heaps of um, battery voltage it, when i came in here it was reading 14.5 which it'll flick over to in a minute something like that let's have a look 14.4 because we just used the auto bill i suppose yeah so heaps of battery She's ship shape. That's uh that's very refreshing. Alrighty, well that's all I really came down here to do. Just double check the lines and um, make sure there's no sort of surprises. But uh, no, it's all looking great. Happy days.